this is Andrea Milky Shore from Milky's Fiber Arts. I'm going to show you a couple plying tips for plying a woolen yarn today. A woolen yarn is traditionally made from hand carded roll logs that have been drafted against the twist. You're capturing the fiber in the twist as you're pulling back against it. The singles are spun with a rather light amount of twist and much more of the structure and stability of the yarn is created in the plying where additional twist is added. I'm at the plying stage right now. I have my two bobbins of singles on a lazy kate on the floor behind my left elbow. And I'm tensioning the two strands with my left hand and with my right hand, I'm pinching those two plies between my forefinger and my thumb as I draw my hand back. The twist coming from the orifice captures those two plies as they're kind of squished into each other. And this makes for a very consistent and even plying of the woolen yarn really helps meld those two plies together so they almost become like one. So traditional woolen yarn has less twist in the singles, more twist in the plying. And I'm plying this to match a sample that I put here on my wheel before I started, well back when I started the project. And so from that sample, I know that I'm looking at about a 40 degree angle of twist in the plied yarn. So as I spin and I'm pinching and allowing the twist to enter that pinched yarn, I'm also watching the angle of twist in it. And when it gets to be about 40 degrees, I should move my hook here. When it gets to be about 40 degrees, then I wind it on. And I'm not obsessing over whether it's exactly 40. I'm not, I'm not getting out some little tool and measuring it. Uh, it's, it's more of a visual thing than a measured thing. And also I'm keeping in mind that a little bit of additional twist is going to enter the yarn as I feed it in. Because from this point on my hand until it's actually wound onto the bobbin, the twist is continuously affected by the wheel turning. Until it is wound onto the bobbin, even from the orifice to the hook to where it touches the bobbin, the twist continues to level out or equalize over the whole length of yarn reaching all the way back to where my hand is holding and I have that twist pinched off by my thumb and my forefinger. There's a couple plying tips for you the next time you work with your woolen yarns. This is Andrea from Milky's Fiber Arts. Thanks so much for watching.